Hey guys, welcome back to Tanner's Pianos, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a um, we're going to be showing you how to voice a piano, and um, we have a very special guest here today. And uh, yeah, she's going to show you. There you go. So the way we do voicing, this easy way that anybody can do. We're going to take this sandpaper. This is actually a sanding belt that I bought. 40 grit. Fold it up to make a little pad that I can work with. And the way we're going to change the tone of the hammer. This one is a little bit brighter than its neighbors, meaning it's making more high frequencies. And the reason it's doing that is that it's probably a note that's played a lot. This B flat would be very common in music. It has more wear on it than its neighbors. And so what happens is you get grooves cut in the felt from where the felt hammer hits the music string, the music wire. You get actually cuts in the felt. So those cuts in the felt are not good for the tone of the piano. So this is what it sounds like now. And what I'm gonna do is work on reducing the size of those cuts by coming up from the bottom and moving toward the strike point from the top. I'm trying to not do anything to the strike point, which is what hits the strings. But I'm taking some felt off of the bottom and off of the top. And now when we play that note, it's not as sharp as it was, so our voicing worked. So now we can try this one. You come up from the bottom, and then from the top toward the strike point. And actually what we're doing is there's supposed to be a very small contact between the hammer and the string, just a very little bit. But when you get those grooves cut in the felt, you actually have a great big strike point because it's all flat down in the groove. So what I'm doing is shaving off felt from the bottom, but I'm working toward the strike point. Then I'm shaving felt off from the top toward the strike point. So that this, I'm trying to get this small contact back that the piano had when it was new. So, so we do this one, and I'll do this one while I'm right here. We go from, it's called the shoulder of the hammer, the biggest part of it toward the strike point. is make the piano mellow on a soft blow, or a blow being when you press the key down, or when the hammer hits the string, that's also called a blow. But if you don't do this from time to time, the piano gets louder and louder when you're not playing it loud. You're just playing it soft, but the piano's too loud. So from time to time you do this and you calm down, the high frequencies that are not supposed to be there on a soft blow. They will be there on a hard blow. We're just taking them off for a soft blow. So. Now down here, we haven't done these. These are still too bright. So come over here. Just do a little bit. Working toward the strike point from the top, then from the bottom. Doesn't take much. Now there is a 
way to do this job for real. Um, and it, this, what I'm doing today is not going to last very long, but there's a way to do it the right way, um, which still uses sandpaper, believe it or not. But you actually reshape the hammer to get rid of those grooves that are cut down in the felt. So. same kind of mellow without any of them just sticking out like they're real bright. This one's still standing out. doing the service regularly then guess you can mess it up but those are a lot more powerful tools than just a piece of sandpaper <laughs> up here. You don't want them to disappear into the other notes. So I'm actually not going to voice these because we want these brilliant for playing because it makes your playing sound right. But these we don't want to be too bright on soft playing. So let me play a soft song and see what it sounds like. That's how you voice your piano. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like, smash that like button. And if you haven't, be sure to subscribe and let me know if you want more videos, something like this, in the future. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.